Welcome back to the Justice Factor. Now to our winners and losers of the week. As usual in this section, we aim to applaud politicians and individuals who've done well and name and shame those who continue to fail our people. And so first, our winner of the week. There aren't many winners in the sad, sorry tale of TV Joshua's building collapse in Lagos. However, the Ministry and Department of International Relations have been absolutely outstanding in their handling of the matter from start to finish. This was our government at its best. We are proud of them and their work. And so our winners of the week are Minister of International Relations, Maitengwana Mashabani, and the Ministry of International Relations. And now to our big loser of the week. The Nigerian priest T.B. Joshua of the Synagogue Church of All Nations says that he will be visiting South Africa to pay tribute to what he calls the martyrs of faith. This is what he said on Sunday. Once in a month, I will be traveled to South Africa to meet people from South Africa and other nations who find South Africa easier to visit in memory of people of Matthias of faith. What nonsense is this? First, Joshua kept quiet about these deaths for five days. Then, secondly, South African diplomats were blocked from accessing the church site for days. Third, instead of taking responsibility for the deaths, the man has claimed that his enemies were attacking him and that, and that a plane was flying above the building. All this is nonsense, really. These poor people are not martyrs of faith. They died because the building they were housed in was poorly built and was not safe for the number of uh, flaws added to it. T.B. Joshua should not even show his face in this country. He should be charged for murder. And so our loser of the week is. The self-proclaimed prophet T.B. Joshua. What a massive loser. And with that, we come to the end of our show. Email us on justicefactor at enca.com, tweet us on at justicemalala, and follow us on Facebook. Do join us next week for more news, views, and debates. My name is Justice Malala. Have a fantastic week. <laughs>